What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Action Sunday, and this week is a doozy. Um, and as you're judging by the by the title card, this week I'm looking at Outlaw King, this Netflix original that came out like literally like several months ago, uh, uh, starring Chris Pine. So yeah, um, this was recommended to me by one of my friends, um, and because uh, uh, I was looking for movies to watch, and I kept putting it off and off. Until finally, I decided let's just watch it now. So I start. So get this. So I started watching it back during the Christmas break, and then of course things got out of hand, and I never finished it. So now I was able to finish up. I finally sat down, watched this entire thing all through again. So I'm finally gonna tell you this right now. Outlaw King, even though it's based on his historical events, um, in some usually in some ways it's usually a hit or miss. This I felt was really, really damn good. Oh my goodness. And like, I'm going to say this. Chris Pine does a pretty damn good job playing this famous uh, Robert the Bruce. All right. And if you're not familiar with this m movie, where have you been living? And of course, if you're not familiar with the title of Outlaw King, this is essentially, it's all about Robert the Bruce. It, uh, you know, him, tr him trying, him, his rise to power and also him trying to, uh, you know, you know, fight for his, fight for his land kind of thing. Uh, I don't want to give much of the story away, but it is really good. Um, I love the cr creativity that they did on this movie. I love the, especially the opening scene that like, um, like after the opening credits, after the whole, that, that whole thing at the, at the beginning, I realized that entire shot was like one continuous tracking shot or orbiting shot, like just followed the action. That was some really good, clever filmmaking right there. Everything else was pretty darn good. I love the cast. Tony Curran, great stuff. Um, with Florence Poe, aka, um, Paige from uh, Fight With My Family, Family, she did a really good job playing Elizabeth, um, you know, Robert Bruce's eventual queen, his wife. Um, and of course, I'm cracking up. I'm like, wait a minute. So, yeah, Chris Pine, even though, you know, he's like twice her age, he's and his wife is being played by a 23-year-old. So that's kind of interesting. But, hey, she she nailed this role. And, yeah, I can't believe I'm saying this. Chris, no, I had my doubts at first. I was like, huh. Chris Pine, I don't think he's going to do well. First off, he's the only American in this movie. And, of course, uh, he's been cast to play a famous guy, famous swordsman, of, possibly one of the greatest swordsmen of his day. If you guys did not know this. This is how well I know my histories. Um, and I thought he was going to do a terrible job. I think he did a good job. Even though you could clearly tell, tell the accents kind of phoned in. But, like, but he, like... He he does like he how do I say this? He's, he stays in character. He follows it to a T. He it's like he knows what he's doing. And Chris Pine, I can't believe I'm saying this. This is the same guy that played Captain Kirk. And now look at him now. He's he is willing to to just take any role and take him out of his comfort zone. This one. I think really took him really out of his comfort zone. You know, he's trying to experiment with himself. He's trying to find himself. And I think he has done a very, very good job. All right. Um, my, my only gripe with this movie was, uh, was this movie was, was way too dark. Like, uh, um, by dark as in the setting and dark as in like lighting. Like, there are times in the movie I thought, okay, I feel like I was watching a blank screen. But, uh, but of course, hey, this is, this was the era. This was the time period. This is the middle ages. This is like the, you know, I, I, I really don't want to give, don't want to, I didn't give much away, but hey, this was what life was, and if it, and like the, I got my, I got to tip my hat to Netflix and to the Netflix studios because what what a great job, okay? This movie really and and, and what I find this interesting is that this I feel like uh, um people would say, oh wait, th would this be like a pseudo follow up to Braveheart? I feel like yes, but then again, this is but then again, what well, well, Robert the Bruce and William Wallace, they're two different Scottish folk heroes, okay, in my hero, my opinion, opinion. Whereas William Wallace fought for his independence, Robert the Bruce is a completely different guy. And first off, Robert the Bruce, I think, in my opinion, he's one of the better swordsmen, okay, because whereas William Wallace was a great a general, a great hero, um, Robert the Bruce is considered the a best swordsman, and I think he was. But of course, no one can be a hundred percent sure if he really was. But of course, my 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 god stick here and do like a whole history com conversation no 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 i think everyone shall we go and we'll look and look up uh, robert the bruce and look into his stuff okay even though this is not 100 accurate of a movie but it still gives us a glimpse at um at this very historic man and i think this movie really delivers okay definitely give it a shot and shot you know give it a watch you might learn some things and you'll probably just say wow ama amazing stuff so, um, yeah, not much else I can say. Go go check out. It's over on Netflix. But I'm going to give uh, Outlook King, I'm going to 
give Outlaw King an eight and a half out of ten. It's 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 just remarkable. Good stuff all altogether. Chris Pine, that, I think he really really nailed this role. All right. So that does for today. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for some more awesome videos.